Hey guys, Matt again down here at Nice Wonder Farms, first generation farmer. Uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, some more grass practices. This is, uh, as you can see, our pasture here. We got a little sage popping up now. We are, it's October 28th, and this sage has been here for a little while. But uh, like I said in my other video, we're in the process of clipping it to rotate our cows, so this will eventually all be clipped. But um, I did some research trying to figure out why do I have sage coming up. Now it's not stinking some people's and I have no other weeds really, but why is the sage coming up in our ground? And uh, I heard this over and over, you need lime, you need lime, you need lime. Now my pH in my soil, I had, I've done three soil tests, my pH was 6.2 each time, then three different times of the year, several locations all over our property. Uh, and come up with my pH being, no, with being in, within normal range. That's 6.2, so obviously I don't need any lime. That, that's not my issue here. So nobody had any other answers for me. So I got to digging around, doing some research. I found a uh, obscure mm. article on the internet, and after reading through several pages, come to the conclusion, I uh, read a small uh, sentence that says something about phosphorus. Now I did some uh, research uh, further, looked on my soil test, lo and behold, my phosphorus is out of whack. So, I take it to my local co-op, show them my soil test, tell them what I got going, going on. They say, oh, you need some lime, of course, as they say. I show them my soil test, and they say, well, your pH is okay, but your phosphorus is low. And I told them about this. So if you have sage on your property, something to consider. Soil testing is by far the most important things, easiest, cheapest thing you can do on your farm to help your grass. Uh, I, I, I'm a big uh, proponent of that, and I, I strongly believe in doing it several times a year, uh, several different locations, just like they recommend. Uh, but the sage grass, keep phosphorus in mind. Look at your soil test, get your soil test done, look at your soil test, and, uh, and if you're having a little sage issue, uh, it's something co to consider. I'll be correcting mine in the spring uh, and um, uh, with some fertilizer, and uh, we'll, we'll get back, and I'll, I'll keep you up to date to see what the uh, fertilizer has done. So th this pasture's never been grazed. Uh, it's always been cut for hay, and uh, first year it's been grazed. First winter it's going to be grazed. We'll see how how it turns out and uh, I'll keep you up to date but phosphorus sage and phosphorus keep that in mind so got any comments tips pointers uh, I'm a new farmer just just starting out uh, first year farming if uh, you got anything for me some tips or pointers comment below leave a leave a note let me know thank you very much